And then beyond that, because we're trying to solve all needs in terms of uh, interconnected systems, smart city, um, trying to provide infrastructure to those who are in need, and you look at um, you look at Earth SIPs and all that. The goal is not just telemetry, but telemetry plus power plus obviously water, which is um, which would allow for for a station, allow for food diversity, stuff like that. So it's um, a very crucial goal that we have in relationship to the technologies we're trying to create. And you're looking at infrastructure um, in relation to the internet obviously being overburdened, especially in unavailable in rural, remote communities and in certain countries. It, this is affecting people here even on the local basis. It cannot afford it either here in the state or even when, when we hope to test and implement in the third world. And then there are places in Africa that don't have power for nearly 12 hours, which is important. And renewable energy is very limited given the technology infrastructure there, but you're talking about places that are hubs for rich minerals, that are hubs for solar power and all that stuff. And then the, fir the first step obviously would eventually be trying to connect the di the unconnected so fixing the digital di divide and then again we have a wide variety of ip um some accents we're trying to um respond to but some a lot of the core ip have already been approved or granted and then we want to have an integrated pilot of things so cubesats compressed air energy storage generation and then reverse hvac or water from air technology and we want to basically create our own smart cities and then obviously when you're dealing with people who don't have power for over 12 hours in the third world and you are also dealing with costly infrastructure here in the first world and you're dealing with outdated grid systems really bad grid like grids that need dramatic upgrading, this technology could potentially fill the gap. And then we want to utilize compressor energy stored through a hybrid zero thermal system. The goal is one third of the cost per megawatt hours. And we are hoping to test this with small pilot, a small pilot of 250K people, if funding allows, which again, we're just trying to get the labs, the infrastructure in place to be able to do all this. And then this is an il illustration. And then water from air solar arrays. Again, we can subs offset residue heat and create a solar plus reverse HVAC system to create water from air technology. Our goal is to start eventually with um, a 100,000 watt solar farm with 25 to 40% efficiency and minimal load, which again, efficiency in terms of solar panels is a very difficult technology to accomplish and part of this is the how we're able to offset residue heat if something that could be accomplished the actual technologies that could be created as a result of that would be would be very impactful in terms of the energy industry as a whole and if not even if we're able to achieve solar farms to that ex to to a certain extent where we're able to like at least offset some energy or at least able to get minimal efficiency then this could still be really impactful and then the future so our goal is to eventually have like fifty five thousand dollar or sips 17.5k per cube sat launch with gateway seventy five thousand dollar greenhouses and localized labs towards a lot of these launch facilities in third world countries, $725,000 compressed air energy storage generators, and $1,500 per four panel array. I mean, these 